Well, hi. Thanks for joining me here in my shop. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the Magic Eye <coughs> tube in this radio. At the end of the last video, we could see the eye was functioning, but just very, very dull. Well, that's a really good chance the tube itself is really dull. So I think the first thing I want to do is, uh, is tube test. Do a tube test on this particular tube. So, um, to that end, let me just get it out of here. Now, often these are on sliding grips with little locks. This one doesn't seem to be. The tube is very, very short here. Looks like it's just sitting in here. Often these uh, lead wires are really, really stiff, so any bending of them, and this isn't quite what I wanted to have happen here, any bending of them is uh, you have a good chance you're going to end up replacing them all. I don't want that to happen. Let's see if we can disconnect them here. No. Okay, like it or not. Never seen a uh, magic eye tube like that. <clears throat> Most of them, of course, are regular size. Never seen one like this. And you probably couldn't fit a full one in here anyway, even if you wanted to try. Okay, let's let's give them a test. Let's see how this goes. So to do this test, I'll be using the. Uh, Weston tester here. Whoops, 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 okay. So I've got it dialed up here, 6AF6. Bias must vary dual shadow. And I remember seeing there were two, two eyes here, so let's set this up. With this tester, you cannot be changing these switches when the tube's in, in it. It would be a bad thing, so we'll do it now. 6.3. 6 6.3 heater. Signal is... I have an E here for signal. So E must be... Must be unimportant. There's no, there's no uh, E. Bias is H. It's another hint that there's no purpose for the bias. H. I'll be adjusting this during the test. Selectors 07553. If it seems like I'm not familiar, I am not. I test magic eyes all that often. 5, 5, 3. Bottom set is 0, 6, 1, 0. Sensitivity, meter sensitivity doesn't matter. Plate goes to E. Bias must vary dual shadow. Is that all it's going to tell me? That's all it's going to tell me. Okay. Quick double check here. 6.3 E H. O seven five five three zero six one zero. Here you go. Well, I see a glow. How's that coming out on camera? Not very visible here. Let's see if I can. I can see it a little bit now. So again, you got that very strong red glow coming from the heater, and then the green 
here, but not terribly bright. Okay, bias control. So this is changing ever so slightly here. changing. Bias must vary dual shadow. So I think the answer to that is it is varying. Just a very little bit. Very, very. So sorry you can't see that too much better. I think the answer for this radio is I have to put that tube back in and accept the situation with it because uh, don't have a replacement for this little tube. It's the only one I've got. It's a functioning, uh, given the right circumstances. It seemed a little bit brighter. seem a little bit brighter in the radio itself. Took me a while to finish that sentence, eh? <laughs> Let's just get this untangled here. I'll give it another try. Gonna give it a real world try. Uh, I'm gonna put the loop antenna onto it. big loop antenna back here. I'll try it on the AM band. So this would be kind of under ideal circumstances. And what I mean by that is the radio will be working with a strong signal from the antenna. Not a weak signal. Okay. Let's put a little more light on the topic here. Also, if we want to see it, It's a cord nightmare in here. Okay, there we go. Now, in terms of brightening this thing up through some kind of trickery or deceit with it, uh, I'm not so sure I can do that. Um, especially after having put it in the tube tester. Kind of tells you what's, what's, what's there. see something in that eye now. Yeah, you can see it on camera too. On camera also, I don't have a camera too. A little bit of sound. There we are. It's not the sound I want to hear. Okay, we're on the AM band. seems to have dulled down. Oh. Oh, huh. It 
the phono button. And I never noticed that before. Interestingly enough, as this radio has been sitting here uh, running just for a few minutes now, the magic eye has gone from visible to pretty much invisible. But let me turn down the lights and see what we can get. Okay, so with my eye I can see the green in there, but it's very hard to see. You can see it too, actually, in the camera, and it's similarly difficult to see red-green thing happening there. So let's... Now, the radio is... Okay, it's on a station, but I don't want it playing because of copyright issues. So I'm just going to tune back and forth and we'll watch that eye do its thing. So the question is, could, could I tell the radio was tuned to a station by looking at that eye? And the distinct answer is not at all. Maybe not seeing any movement. Let's see if I can get this a little bit of a, a better camera shot of this. I want to see it more clearly too. Okay, so so what I've done is I've brought a camera over pointing straight at the magic eye. And uh, we'll get a little a little better view of what's going on in there. It's a little like sticking your eye up close to the it is exactly like sticking your eye up close to it. Now, what do we got on the radio? Oh. Hey! There's that rotating sound again. <laughs> okay, I'm wearing that. It's tuned now. We'll see what this thing does. Research. I wanted to wait for stand up to our client. I didn't want screens with a lifetime warranty that was and a word only. I want a screen. I'll turn that down. It's a little too much for my my recording here. I never had to replace them again. Magic windows come with a forty-year warranty. Magic windows. I love magic eyes. They're the only company that can offer a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty because magic windows are built to last. Not repair. That's what makes them magic. The Shepherd to the east end for a one round. And it looks like the problems have been cleared from the southbound Dawn Mill south of Shepherd. Safety comes first. Your car or load, a truck loads for summer. A vehicle or debris on the road calls the dog. Barely moving there. PR.com. With the extended forecast, here's meteorologist oh, Bill Taylor. Weather time. Well, the clouds will increase. The possibility of showers and thunderstorms for parts of the GTA this afternoon into the early evening. The guaranteed high 32 will feel like 37. Mainly cloudy this evening near 26 and partly cloudy overnight. A morning low about 21. Scattered showers or thunderstorms Thursday and Friday with highs 26. Looks great for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Lots of sunshine. Fantastic, because the weekend is the car show in Aurelia. Uh, old car show it's fantastic that's coming this weekend fantastic weather we need some rain great glad I could share that with you so what am I gonna do about this now well it, it the eye does not seem to respond to variations in the AVC which is what drives the eye to open and close the AVC voltage the same thing that's controlling the uh, sensitivity of, of the radio as you tune around so either, you know, this is suggesting the AVC is actually not AVCing very well, or there's something wrong with the circuitry that presents the AVC voltage to this tube. It seemed to me it was working in the tube tester, but it wasn't that dramatic in there either, was it? So I think the next step along the, the way here is to measure the uh, voltages on the back of this tube. And that's easier said than done because the... Uh, the wiring is not really exposed. Um, you know, up in the back of the radio here, there's n nowhere to get on with a voltmeter. It's got to be done from down under, down under the bottom. Let's take a look at this situation here. 
So, see all the wires coming out right in here, and then they just splay out into the radio in different places. So it take a little bit of time to identify each one of these wires. The colors are clear down here, by the way, but um, up, up above they're not so clear, but they're pretty clear here. Nevertheless, I'd have to track them down and figure out which is which, or it just take a reading on the end of each of these wires. Maybe that's what I should do. And the uh, and the reading can speak for itself. It, it can't be that bad. Uh, like, you know, there has to be B, B plus there, and there has to be everything there. Everything has to be there. Now, this is lousy copy. So, let's see. It's pretty simple tube. Wait a minute. That's not the right tube, is it? Is it? Here it is down here. Yeah, situation is not simple here. Look at these, these resistor dividers here. Looks like it's controlling the cathode potential here or the bias in the tube. Big thing, all kinds of stuff in here. I gotta find all this, test all this. But you know what? That's gonna be it for today because uh, because I've got I got a big meeting on my deck with a pergola that needs to be constructed. So that's where I'm going to be today, out in my steamy deck, constructing a pergola. So on the next video, we'll identify and check all the componentry and everything related to this tube, this eye tube, in the hopes of brightening it up and making it much more, uh, yeah, much more that. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.